Welcome back to another episode of Change Up Chatter. I'm Colin Eccles. And I'm Lily Herrera. Colin, we have a bit of a shorter episode today, but we still have some fun stuff to cover. But before we go over that, I know I'm not wearing the Dodgers jersey. Yeah, something about this just isn't right. I forgot it in my car, and I needed you to bring me one, but of course you brought me uh, my rival one. I figured it was only right. Let's go ahead and hop into those wild card series. For the American League wild card, the six seed Detroit Tigers swept the Houston Astros with scores of three to one and five to two. No surprise there, at least to me. Tarek Skubal shoved in game one, six innings, six Ks, four hits allowed. Then the Kansas City Royals brought out the brooms against the Baltimore Orioles. 1-0 the score for Game 1, 2-1 the score for Game 2. Bobby Witt Jr. had a hot stick, batting in the only run in Game 1 and batting in the winning run in Game 2 on an infield single. The Royals are currently down 2-1 in the ALDS series against the New York Yankees. Lily, why don't you run us through the National League? Thanks, Colin. For the National League, the Padres swept the Braves in just two games to punch their ticket into the division series. I think my personal MVP pick for that series would have to be Kyle Higashioka. He had a homer in the bottom of the eighth in game one and then one in the bottom of the second for game two, his second in the postseason. Now, the Mets Brewers series was the full three games. They went into game three tied with one apiece, but New York was ready to move on to the division series. They took out the Brewers in game three, four to two. MVP for that series would have to be Jackson Chorio for the Brewers. I know they didn't win, but he single handedly brought in two runs in game two with two home runs. Brewers won that game, but not the series. Colin, wild card was a lot of fun, but let's give a quick update on what the situation is for the division series. For the ALDS, no teams have moved on just yet, but we do have some important updates. The Detroit Tigers are currently battling the Cleveland Guardians in the ALDS, leading the series two games to one after a 3-0 win in Wednesday afternoon's Game 3. Spencer Torkelson put the game away with a double in the bottom of the six with an RBI. The Tigers have home field advantage for Game 4 of the series, a dangerous team to have on the road, but it's do-or-die time for the Guardians. And after a win last night, the New York Yankees have a 2-1 series lead over the Kansas City Royals. Giancarlo Stanton was the saving grace for the Yanks with a 417-foot solo bomb to left center. The series stays in Kansas City for Game 4. Game 4 of Cleveland and Detroit is today at 6.08 on TNT. Game 4 of the Royals and the Yanks is at 8.08 on TBS. Lily, run us through the National League side. I'm super excited to talk about the NL Division Series. In just four games, the Mets have done the unthinkable. New York has sent Philly, the NL East champions, home in just four. The Mets get to move on to the championship series. The player of the game would have to go to Francisco Lindor. With one swing of the bat in the sixth inning, Lindor launched a grand slam, getting the Mets from a one-run deficit to a three-run lead, in turn winning the game to punch their ticket to the championship series. Now let's take a trip to the West Coast with the California Showdown. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres have the series tied up with two apiece. The Dodgers really needed the win in Game 4 in order to stay in the race for the NLCS. Game 4 looked like the home run derby with Mookie Betts, Will Smith, and Max Muncy sending them out of the park to keep L.A. alive. The Dodgers' bullpen shut out the Padres' offense with nine scoreless innings. Game 5 is set for 8.08 p.m. Friday on Fox. Colin, what an exciting postseason, and I am absolutely blown away by the Mets. I have to say, with them moving on, I'm really hoping for a Dodgers-Mets NL Championship Series. On the American League side, I would really like to see a Tigers-Yankees showdown. Honestly, I think those picks are really solid. Personally, I think the ALCS is going to be a Tigers and Royals showdown if the Royals can get those bats back in order. For the NLCS, I have the Mets and the Padres. But regardless, I think it's going to be two very, very good championship matchups. I agree. We will be back next week with the championship series as we move closer to the World Series. Join us next week for more Change Up Chatter.